Okay, the following data represents the weight in grams of a random sample of 50 candies. Okay, so we have a bunch of data. Determine the sample standard deviation weight. Let's get that in StatCrunch. Let's open our data in StatCrunch. Open in StatCrunch. Let's, from, our, from the stat menu, we can choose summary stats for a column of data. The only thing we care about is a standard deviation. Oops, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click on, well, let's click on mean and standard deviation because we'll probably need both of those things. All right, the standard deviation is 0 0.639. It says round to two decimal places, so 0 0.06 would be two decimal places. I round down to 0 0.06. Okay. On the basis of the histogram on the right, comment on the appropriateness of using the empirical rule to make any general statements about the weight of the candies. Well, the empirical rule requires that the that the data be bell-shaped. Pretty much like you got a mode in the middle and the tails go out to the sides. Looks pretty much symmetric. I would say this looks fine. It, it's, it is bell-shaped and so the empirical rule can be used. What's the empirical rule? It's, it's the 68.95.99.7 rule, which says that about 68% of the data or the numbers are going to be within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of the data is about two standard deviations from the mean. And then 99.7, virtually all the data, is within three standard deviations of the mean. So we use the empirical rule to determine the percentage of candies with weights between 0 0.71 and 0 0.95 grams. Um, so, um, we're going to use the empirical rule. That means I want to find out how many standard deviations this is. Let's pull up a calculator. Okay, so 0 0.95 minus 0 0.83. That's 12, that's 0 0.12, that's two, so 0 0.95 grams, that's, that's two standard deviations above the mean because the standard deviation is 0 0.06. Um, and let's see, 0 0.83 minus 0 0.71, that's also 12, okay. So we're talking about two standard deviations, the mean plus or minus two standard deviations. The, that is 95% of the data. That's what the 95%, that's what the empirical rule tells us. The mean plus or minus two standard deviations should be approximately 95% of the, of the data. Great. Okay, so to determine the actual percentage of candies with a weight between 0 0.71 and 0 0.95 gram inclusive. Um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually copy this data and copy to clipboard and, uh, good, I only have numbers. Let's copy that. I'm gonna go to my, um, my custom distribution calculator. Okay, so I'm going to actually enter data here because this is going to be a fast way of getting it. Now it's going to put this into a frequency table, which is going to be a little weird, but it'll be a fast way of calculating the, the proportion. So I'm going to delete everything that's there and paste in my data. I'm going to click refresh table and it's created a frequency table for me. Okay. Now I can actually get the proportion um, down below. You can see I can find proportions. So the prop proportion between 0 0.71 and 0 0.95 and it's going to calculate that to be 0 0.96 96% 96% of the data falls between that empirical rule to determine the percentage of candies with weights more than 0.89 grams okay so let's just check where is 89 grams 89.89 minus 0.83 Okay, that's one standard deviation above. So the empirical rule tells us that, um, so 68% lies, lies within one standard deviation. So one minus 0 0.68, 32%, 0 0.32 is out in the tails. So we're talking about only in one of those two tails. Uh, so we'll divide it by two, that's 16, 16%. That's what the empirical rule would tell us. Actual percentage, more than 0.89 grams. Let's go back to here. The pro 
probability that's greater than 0.89, it's actually exactly 0.16. So it's exactly 16%. Great. Okay. That's good.